Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HL is the principal partner in LCA Tejas program with ADA acting as program coordinator. LCA Production Group LCA PG was established on 1st July 2002 to take up the concurrent development and the production of indigenously designed and developed LCA Tejas. The same was later converted into a full-fledged production division as LCA Tejas division in April 2014. The LCA Tejas division is the prime center for manufacturing of LCA Tejas aircrafts. The division has orders of 123 aircrafts. The first production order for 20 LCA aircraft in IOC configuration was received in March 2006 followed by another order of 20 more LCA aircraft in FOC configuration in December 2010. In 2021, Division has received an order of 83 LCA Mark I aircraft for Indian Air Force. This division has manufacturing capacity of 8 to 10 aircraft per annum. In order to further enhance the production capacity of LCA, a new plant of LCA Tejas Division 2 was inaugurated on 2nd February 2021 in Bengaluru. The second production line of LCA Tejas is spread over 35 acres and will double the production of LCA Tejas to 16 aircrafts. On 7th April 2023, HAL has inaugurated its third assembly complex for LCA Tejas at Nasik. The new production line will further boost the production rate of LCA Tejas from 16 to more than 24 aircrafts per year. The Defence Secretary Mr. Giridhar Aramane inaugurated the third LCA production line. He also handed over 100 Su-30 MKI aircraft to Indian Air Force at HAL's Nasik Division. HAL has already completed the delivery of 32 out of 40 LCA Mark 1A from the initial order. HAL is now working on the delivery of remaining 8 LCA trainer which is slated to be complete by the end of financial year 2023. On 5th April, a major milestone was also achieved by LCTS program when it took the first flight for series production LCA trainer with tail number LT5201 and it took the medium flight from HL airport and landed after completing a successful sortie of around 35 minutes. HL is also looking to commence the delivery of first LCTS Mark 1A on schedule in February 2024 and even trying to advance the delivery of the first aircraft by a month or so. As per contract, HL is required to deliver the first three aircraft of LCA Mark 1A in 2024 and 16 aircraft annually for the next five years. HL may even look for completing the delivery of LCA Tejas Mark 1A in three years. During the inauguration of LCA Division 2 in Bengaluru, E.P. Jayadeva, the general manager of LCA Tejas Division, has told that it will take us about five years to complete the order, but we have set a three-year target. We are also setting up a facility for trainer aircraft assembly. The focus will be on first supplying the trainer jets. Now, interestingly, in February 2023, it was also reported that Indian Air Force may get additional 50 LCA Tejas Mark 1A as a part of Mission 470. Now, if HL is able to complete the delivery of 83 LCA Tejas Mark 1A earlier than slated timeline as per contract, it can further proceed with the production of 50 LCA Tejas Mark 1A if the order for the same is given by Ministry of Defence. This does seems to be a sensible approach as there has been significant delay in MRFA and LC Mark II program. The Indian Air Force Squadron strength has gone down to 31 as the Srinagar based MiG 21 Bison Squadron was phased out last year. By 2024, the Indian Air Force has planned to phase out three more squadrons of MiG 21 Bison. This will be followed by phasing out of six squadrons of aging Jaguar fleet starting 2025 and continuing till 2032. By late next decade, three squadrons each of upgraded Mirage 2000 and MiG-29 fleets would be scheduled to be phased out.
This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.